All right, everyone, we're joined by Safety Bubba Bolden, and we will go right into questions from our media on the call. We'll start with David Lake from 24-7. David, go ahead. Hey, Bubba, just, just to open here, wanted to ask you just your thoughts on today's practice, just how it went generally, and then, then I got a follow-up for you. Man, I thought today was a great day. You know, we came out for the first day, and, uh, you know, we showed good effort today. That was, that was a big uh, emphasis on today's practice, just showing effort, showing a, that you could be tough and um, get through this first practice. You know, the first day is always like one of the hardest days. So I think we did good overall. I want to ask you too, just are, are you looking to take on more of like a, a vocal leadership role this year, uh, being an older guy? And, you know, I know last year even maybe, and obviously the year before you were kind of settling in because you were a transfer, uh, just trying to prove yourself that way. Sure. But now that you've been here a while, are, are you looking to, to kind of be more of a leader? And what does being a leader look like and mean to you? Um, I mean, I feel like I've always been a leader myself. Uh, maybe not vocal outside of football, but, um, you know, now, you know, we just had our little winter training camp, you know, I had my own team. So I feel like, you know, that, that, that lifted me up a little bit more into a leader role and, and controlling my team. And now, you know, getting into offense, defense, you know, I'm just trying to be a leader of the defense, but I want everybody on the team to be a leader. You feel me? It's not just, it's not just me only. So, that's what, we'll be, that's what we're trying to build over here, and that's what I'm trying to build personally. So just going with the flow, man. Awesome. Bubba, we're going to go to Matt Shodell at Kane Sport. Matt, go ahead. Hey, Bubba. How you doing? Good. How you doing? I'm doing great. So um, I don't know if it's different or not. I want to ask you. We're not out there, obviously. Um, but Manny Diaz now is the defensive coordinator. Like, is that different in practice this spring versus last year? Like, is, is there a different um, – way he's doing things. I know he was sort of on your side of the field anyway last year. I was just curious if something's maybe changed in the way he's managing you guys on the defensive side this spring. Yeah, he's a play caller. He, he, he's out there. He's calling the plays. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's the head honcho of, of this defense, of this team. So, you know, um, last year he was over there. He was doing – he was, you know, over there observing. You know, he would come in and teach here and there. But he was more of an observer last year. But now he's all hands-on, all in calling the plays and you know that's that's what that's, that's what we're here for oh well, we're gonna go to david ferrone at the sun sentinel david hey bubba on a similar note now uh, you have a new uh, db's coach uh first what was your reaction back when uh you know Ephraim Banda, obviously a guy that you guys love over there uh got an opportunity to be a defensive coordinator and then uh now what are the differences that you see between um how he coaches and t rob um i mean they're both great coaches you know uh, Banda, Banda was a great coach. I learned a lot from Banda while he was here. Um, he definitely made me a better player, but, uh, T-Rob came in and T-Rob has his own way. You know, he has a new way and his new way is great too, you know? So, um, I feel like it, it's two different, it's two different ways they doing it and, you know, bringing both of them together and, and now having T-Rob his way is, is, is only going to make us better. And, um, you know, I'm super excited for him to be my coach and, just learn everything from him. You know, he has so much experience and, you know, especially at the safety position, he's going to put a lot of guys in the NFL. So, and I'm excited. Is there any specific uh, difference in, in uh, you know, something that, that he puts emphasis on or focuses on more than, than Banda? Um, just, just new DB drills, you know, just, just, just little things like that. But, um, you know, T-Rob is T-Rob and Banda is Banda, you know, it's just two great guys. And, you know, that's, that's how we look at them. Well, we've got a couple more forward. We're going to go to Susan Miller Degnan at the Miami Herald. Susan, hey Bubba, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, how much does the Alabama game give you a little push in the spring and summer? What does that game mean in terms of preparing for the season and momentum once you do start the season? Um, I mean that's game one. Uh, that's what I say to the guys every day. I say Bama first game. Uh, that's, that's, that's where, that's where you should be focused on. Um, I mean, you know, obviously focus on, you know, the task at hand right now, learning the new plays, you know, spring ball, but at the end of the day, always in the back of your head is think Alabama. That's the, that's the first game. That's, that's, that's prime time right there. That's what we all want for. That's what we all want. Oh, we came here. Um, so I, I just, I, I stress that to the guys every day. Whenever things get tough, think Bama. Gotcha. What's, what's Bama doing right now, you know? So that's how I look at it. That's a great answer. And then the other, the other thing I wanted to ask you is, um, 
you know, there's so many safeties this spring, uh, this this year. How many? How uh, important is this position for the defense? Could there ever be too many? And could you foresee anyone moving over, you know, to another defensive position of need? I mean, right now it's just competition. I mean, there's no there's no stable spots. There's no starters. There's no this. There's no that. Everyone is working, you know. And we're so deep at a lot of position with you know everybody coming back. Um, so it's just you know it's competing, and you know. Whoever is that guy when 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 Alabama comes, you know, just know the guys behind them already too. You know, we've been putting in a lot of work. There's a lot of great guys on this field. Uh, so much potential, you know, so much. And you know, everybody's just trying to get better every day. You know, we're not really focused on moving positions, this and that. You know, this is day one. Oh, well, we got Chris Stock from inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Yeah, Bob. I was curious about the accountability teams in the off season. W yeah. What all is that consisted of with the competition, the things you guys are kind of doing, and then also maybe who are some guys that have been the most competitive in that in those environments? I mean, with the with the whole accountability team, um, it goes from class to tutoring to meetings to lifting to everything. You know, just showing up on time, being a guy. You know, um, that you're supposed to be. And then obviously we know we had our little mat drills and, and, and that's where you compete at. And that's where, you know, you either get points, you lose points, you know, your team wins points, your team loses points. So, um, I mean, everybody was competing out there. I mean, that was, that was a, that was a very fun mat drill this season. I, obviously this is my first mat drill uh, since I've been here. It's my first spring ball practice in three years. Um, so, I mean, we just, I'm just excited to be here. You know, I'm excited for this opportunity. I'm excited to be with these guys, these coaches. Uh, and, you know, everybody's just getting better. I mean, I can't, I can't really point out one person who is, who is better than another. I just wanted to follow up. Uh, you have talked, since you've been back, you've talked about big goals for this team and other players have kind of mentioned that too. What does that consist of and, and what's kind of the messaging with that? Um, everybody work, just, just work, you know. Everybody be on the same page and um, show that toughness. You know, we don't want no weak-minded weak people on this team. Um, we all need to be in one, you know, all on, you know, one one chain. One chain. We all need to be that. Um, we all need to have the same mindset, you know. So that's what, that's what we try to do right now. I mean, we kind of got that going in the winter session. But, you know, this spring is, is going to really tell a lot. Um, and, you know, me personally, I'm just, I'm just going gonna, gonna to push the limits for everybody. Oh, we got two quick ones, guys. Please, no follows. We've got a couple more guys to get to, obviously, before everyone heads off to class. We'll go to Daryl Streeter first for football field. Daryl. Bubba, um, how you doing? You, you got some veteran help coming um, on the defensive side in Tyreek Stevenson. Um, talk to us a little about Tyreek. What have you seen? Great player. You know, uh, he, he's very just football-minded, um, very football smart, you know. He went, he went to Georgia, obviously. Obviously, Georgia's, a, you know, a big-time school, you know, they, they know a lot. So him coming here is just it just gives extra depth, extra knowledge, extra, you know, veteran experience. Um, especially, you know, he's done played against Alabama, he's on them type of team. So he kind of knows the, the feeling and this and that, but at the same time, he he's new to the program, you know. So um he's still gotta work his way in, um, and still gotta learn the plays and stuff like that. But I think he's coming on along very well. Um he'll be a big key to our team, definitely. Last one for you, Bubba. Manny Navarro from the Athletic. Manny, go ahead. Hey, Bubba, uh, question about the gains you made in the offseason uh, with Coach Feely, you know, how, how much your body changed. And then just Ed Reed, uh, you know, how much, you know, what did you talk about with him maybe in the offseason leading into spring football? Um, I mean, with the whole uh, offseason training camp, um, you know, Feely does Feely. Feely never is going to change. Feely is, is always that guy. And um, he's definitely going to get you big personally. Um, I think I've put on about 10 pounds since I've, since, since you know like those winter winter course um and then ed i haven't really been with ed a lot i've been with coach shoots um new coach um great guy so much experience um you know he's a, he's a, he's a mastermind to it you know i've been meeting with him a lot just learning learning the game and learning new things so uh i think he's helped a lot um coming into day one of spring ball um you know i'm just looking forward to, to more days ahead Awesome. Thank Bubba, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. We'll be talking to you soon. All right, appreciate it.